Hello everybody, blessed be. Today I am doing a daily divine and we are reading for Virgos for December 21st. Happy Yule everybody, the first day of winter. I know the holidays and the new year are coming around the corner. So today I just want you to relax a little bit. I want you to be thankful for the seasons coming about, for what they will bring, new things to come. Just take a second today to really relax. Now I know you wanna get things done today. Depending on where you are from, it is a Saturday. So kinda of kick back, spend some time with the kids, spend some time with the family. Um, you know, you don't have to go out and spend money. You could simply do something like a board game. When was the last time y'all did that? All right, so let's see here. We have the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so my Virgos, there's a lot on your shoulders right now. Emotional, physical, with finances, with the kids, with the holidays, with everything that's kind of going on right now. There's a lot on your shoulders and I could tell. Okay, it's not too much, you're still trotting along, you know, you didn't have a mental breakdown yet, so be careful. <laughs> but it's just too much, okay, so settle down. That's why even before I started kind of reading the cards, I just knew we just needed a break today. I mean, come on, for a lot of you guys, it's a Saturday, your family's around, you probably just had a few things like clean the house, maybe a few errands, get a couple gifts, whatever it might be, go to the store, but once you get that stuff done and off your plate, sit down. Watch a Christmas movie, play a board game, whatever it might be. You know, just don't go to those devices, all right, because we're really trying to bond and spend some time with our family. All right. Okay, so moving on to the Nine of Pentacles. I do feel like once you kind of take a step back, laugh a little with the family. Um, you know, if you don't have a family and you're a crafter, get out that paintbrush, you know, start writing. You know, I know a lot of my Virgos like the diary work, journals, um, you know, things like that. Something that you enjoy, if it's knitting or whatever it might be, Virgo, do it today because that's gonna give you a sense of calmness. Okay, as you can see in the Nine of Cups here, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles, we're more relaxed. We're embracing our environment. We're moving around more with an elegant manner, elegant posture, okay? This is really where we want to be, okay? We don't want to be hunched back with stress, just too much on our plate than we can really handle. All right? Even though this is us most of the time, because we're busy buddies, we're of the sixth house, service of the people, <laughs> okay? We're always putting people first. But really, you know, if you need that Epsom bath today, if you need to, you know, get out that canvas and start painting, if you need a nap, Virgo, go do it, okay? Settle down. And they feel like once you calm your mind today and uh, real, realize that it's not always just about the rat race of life and we can take a step back, just relax. You guys are in good area um, with weather, good weather. I highly recommend just going for a walk, grounding if you still can, okay? Because within that calm state of mind, within that happy mindset, you're really going to be offered an opportunity to, I feel, balance your emotions, heal your emotions, or just an opportunity to grow with your partner, with your family, okay? There's not that many Saturdays in a year, okay? So be sure that you spend one with your family here and there, okay? I recommend all the time, but hey, I know a lot of people have a different lifestyle out there really bond, okay? Like I said, if you're single, if you don't have a family, go out there and do something that you wanna do today. That's not errands. That's not getting stuff today done today. That's not bringing stress on, okay? Now, I know you guys, you still need to do, you know, your daily routine, your chores, washing the dishes, whatever it is before you have this leisure time, but just be sure that we don't forget it, okay? All right, so let's do a message from the fairies today. If any of you guys would like to see a deck review on the cards that I am using here today, I do have a video where I'm doing where I do a card review and um, just a light teaching on tarot. I'm going to be 
bringing in tarot studies more to the channel. I brought in a couple spell work, um, you know, meditation soundtrack, things like this. So the, the channel is getting a little bit more vague for my Virgos who haven't stopped by in a while. My Virgo sisters and brothers. You guys know that I'm a fellow Virgo, some of y'all. Comment below, how have you been? How's it going for the holidays? I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. Oh, here we go. New career. Ooh, I know this speaks deep to a lot of you guys. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, successful direction. All right, Virgos, I know. I know a lot of y'all have had stuff in the making for the past couple years. But listen, your focus has either been... You know, getting to college, getting that degree, raising those babies, setting, you know, a homestead, making a homestead. You know, there's been a lot of other focuses that needed to come first, unfortunately, Virgo. But it's not like you didn't have these things in the making. You know, you were still tending to A, B, C, and D, <laughs> but while still having a journal or, you know, a list or brainstorming ideas or something in the making regarding your new career path. Whatever it is that makes you happy, okay? Whether it's either kind of rolling into retirement, okay? That's a new phase for your career, so to say. <laughs> Definitely. All right, so keep that in mind. You know, obviously we're not going to get stuff done regarding our new career, but maybe that's some time that we want to spend in quiet meditation is um, journal time. Thinking about that with our new career, writing pros and cons, where we want to go, our networking, who we have to, you know, resource off of, things like that. Write all those details down. You know, I've been doing the same lately and um, it's really brought a different perspective on things. And then also when I bring my ideas to other people, it's a little bit easier to relay them if they can actually see it on paper. And, you know, I can say it cleanly without, you know, kind of jumbling all over the place. So maybe, maybe that'll help you too for today, okay? And we're also gonna do one from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And other than that, I'm gonna shut it down for today because I gotta get this bad boy uploaded and on the internet because I'm a little late, which I apologize for that, guys. Enchantment, so bring some enchantment in today, maybe some fantasy. If you have not watched a certain movie that you've been wanting to that uh, would spark that imagination, okay? Something more fantasy-wise, maybe Little Mermaid with the kids, um, you know, something Tim Burton, I don't know, whatever really gets you, gets you going and, you know, can delete that writer's block, <laughs> whatever it is. Because I know I can be the same. If I watch a really good movie and it's done well and it's very inspiring, at the end of the movie, I almost feel like I could do anything. Maybe you need to bring that into your life, okay? You know what it is, Virgo, that will do that to you, okay? That will light that enchantment. All right, guys, I'm sorry for the raspy voice. I don't know if I'm getting sick again. I apologize for <laughs> this video being late again. I actually had a kind of a scare regarding carbon monoxide in my house. But everything is okay. Everybody is safe. But um, I hope to get these daily divines out to you a little bit earlier as well as I like to kind of get them out there a day or two earlier because I know my people across this beautiful blue planet are a day earlier. Okay, so I like to get my daily divine to everybody who I can out there. All right, guys, blessed be and take care.